YouTube short leading up to this video, I was asked this question. I get similar questions on almost every video I post, and in the case this severe, the answer is never simple. It takes a number of issues to get the foot to get in this condition. In this patient's case, obesity, advanced age, close to 70, and spending many hours, at least 12 hours a day, on the job contributed to this problem. This does not happen overnight. It takes many months and years to get to this point. This is a fissure. Over time, these deep cracks can cause bleeding, pain, and infection. Fortunately for this patient, the fissure did not break the underlying normal skin, so I was able to remove the callous, thick, scaly skin without causing any more issues. I begin the debridement in a case like this with a soft tissue nipper because the callus skin is too thick to use the scalpel at this point. Once the thickened callus skin is removed, it will be easier and safer to use the scalpel. Another problem that fissures create is that they hold moisture, and that moisture harbors bacteria, and bacteria lead to infection and odor. You can see in this patient that this problem involves the entire heel, both sides, the back, and the bottom. However, the remainder of the bottom of the foot is not involved at all. Yes, this patient has a dry skin issue, but because this seems to be mostly a heel problem, this issue is more biomechanical than anything else. Biomechanics involves the structure of our foot and how it functions. The combination of this person's weight and working many long hours daily on the feet caused this to happen. Does this mean that everybody in similar circumstances will have the same outcome? Not at all, but it certainly happened for this patient. Now that the tough outer layer of thick callous skin has been removed with the soft tissue nipper, the blade can be used to take care of the rest. Care has to be taken when using the scalpel because believe it or not, the skin underneath all of this is very frail and it's easily nipped and easily can start bleeding. As you can see, things are starting to move along pretty well. Yes, this is very painstaking because you don't want to move too quickly and risk injuring the patient. Also, multiple scalpel blades have to be used because they do dull rather quickly when doing the case of this severity. As I move over to the left foot, you can see that it mirrors the right foot almost exactly. That means that the biomechanical issues are the same on both legs and feet. Just like on the right foot, you can see that the thickening of the callus and the amount of fissure development is greater on the outside of the heel than the rest of the heel. This is quite a collection. I use a cordless Dremel with a fine sandpaper roll to smooth out the rough edges and to remove the dry skin. You cannot remove dry skin with a blade. The water attachment removes dust from the air and eliminates friction so the patient doesn't feel a burn.
Yes, what I did here in the office is not enough for cases like this. Patients have to do things on a daily basis at home to treat this. I like to use keratolytics at the beginning of treatment at home. Keratolytics soften and help remove the outer layer of callous skin. Keratolytics include urea, lactic acid, and salicylic acid. After about four to six weeks, I will switch a patient from keratolytics over to moisturizer. They can be things like shea butter, body butter, or any lotion that the patient prefers. Immediately after applying the keratolytic or the moisturizer, I will have the patient apply a petroleum jelly-based product to lock in that medication to make sure it doesn't evaporate and to make sure it does not get absorbed into the socks or shoes. The biomechanical issues are addressed with either insoles, heel cups, or custom foot orthotics as needed. I also stress that the patient must wear socks or stockings to help decrease that friction that causes the dry skin, the callus formation, and the scale as well. This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. Share it with your family and friends. If you leave a comment or a question, it may be featured in a future video. But most importantly, take care of your feet.